You ever wonder how a flashlight works? We've got a switch, we've got the bulb, we've got the batteries inside. Let's take a look. The switch in this one is right in the back. There's contacts. There's the batteries that have chemical potential energy going to be converted into electrical energy. And there's a bulb in here. And this is a light emitting diode flashlight. Most, a lot of flashlights these days are light emitting diodes. We're going to play around with an old school one in a minute. So this is all about direct current circuits. Uh, here is our old school light bulb, an incandescent bulb, and you can see there's a little filament uh, in there that gets hot when the current flows. And the wire conducts the electricity from one end of the battery uh, through the bulb and back into the battery. As you can see, I don't have a, a circuit yet. If I touch this, yeah, now the, the light lights up. You have to complete the circuit to make the current flow through the entire system. This battery tells us 1.5 volts. We learned about voltage earlier in the year. And it's marked plus. So this is the positive end. Now, in the old days, they thought that the positive charges were the ones that were moving. We know better now. It's the negatives. The negatives come out this way and around through the loop. We still stick with the old idea that the positives are moving. Everybody talks about positive current. That's the way we're going to set up our math. We draw schematic diagrams to represent the elements of the circuit. And a battery has this symbol. This is the positive end. That's the negative end. The bulb has what we call resistance. And I'm going to represent that with this little squiggly line. And that's my resistor. And then the wire comes around and goes in here and makes the circuit. We can write 1.5 volts, which means that the battery is providing energy to each charge that comes out. So this is going to have the symbol V. The resistor has resistance, or the bulb has resistance. That's R. And you may have heard of something called Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law says that the voltage across that resistor is equal to the current times the resistance. Well, now I have my uh, meter that's going to be used to measure that current. So I'm going to connect the circuit with the meter inside the circuit, and it's measuring how much charge is flowing through. Well, and we have about 200, we'll call it 220 milliamps. So using Ohm's law, we can say that we have 1.5 volts from the battery. We had 0 0.220 amps times the resistance. And that gives us 6.81 ohms. Ohms is the resistance unit. And that tells us now that our light bulb has a resistance of 6.81 ohms. But does it really have that resistance? Let's measure it directly with the meter set for measuring resistance. I'm going to put this right in here, and uh, that's interesting. It's getting uh, down to around 0.9 ohms. Now, why would that be? Why does, when we measure it directly, it's so much less? Well, that's because when the light bulb gets hot from the current, it its resistance increases. So this is what we call a non-ohmic device. Well, what do you think will happen if we put two batteries together? This one is in series with that one. I'm going to put the bulb on this end, and I'm going to touch here. Hey, that's a lot brighter now, isn't it? Well, that's because the energy of this battery added to the energy of that one. When we put voltages in series, they just add up.